Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another What Sold video for you today. It's Wednesday, the kids are home because it's a snow day. We did end up getting quite a bit of snow, I think about six, maybe eight inches. But we're gonna start picking what's sold for us today. And we we also did just get the news that tomorrow is a snow day as well. <laughs> so, so if we seem sad, we are. <laughs> it's fine, but um, yeah. I, don't, I just don't like snow days because I feel stuck at home. Yeah, Kathy's like been cooped up here. I did make the dangerous trek to go get a Starbucks for her and me, I had one you as well. You have to make the dangerous trek to the post office because <laughs> we don't schedule yeah. pickups, although, I don't think they would show up on a day like this to do a pickup, so that's exactly why we don't schedule a pickup. Yeah. So. And I'm just, it's not a very dangerous trek. No, it's not. I don't <laughs> mind driving in the snow. Kathy's terrified of it, so. I I'm am. Just, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. I did want to thank a couple people for buying us some coffees first. So Karen bought us three coffees, said thanks so much for the spreadsheet. Love your setup. Hashtag organization goals. Hmm. I've done vintage home decor, but you've inspired me to try to resell clothing. Thanks so much. Awesome. Thank you, Karen. Karen, thank you so much for the support. And Laura bought us five coffees, said, hey, from Toronto. Thanks so much for your spreadsheet. Started using it at the beginning of the year to stay organized. When I checked the dashboard monthly view yesterday, so this came in at the end of January. Okay. Um, it was so helpful to see the data, data, <laughs> data, data <laughs> broken down. Game changer. Thanks again, Laura. Awesome, Thank you so Laura. Much, Laura. Thank you so much for that support, guys. We do appreciate it. Yeah, and if you're new here, we do have a free spreadsheet yeah. download available. It's in the description of all videos. Um, when you click it, you do have to <laughs> manually type the number zero yeah. to get it for free and not have to enter credit card info. So Yeah, we do still get that question quite a bit of... Um, how do I get it for free? You just have to type zero. It doesn't do it auto. It does have zero there, but you have to go in there and <laughs> physically type zero to have it count, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so if you don't have a spreadsheet yeah. currently, um, check it out. It might work for you, might not, but yeah. check it out. All right, we're gonna start on box M today. Foot Joy. This is a Foot Joy golf pullover. Um, I picked this up just last week for $5.99. It sold for $34 plus shipping on eBay. That is under a pound. We're gonna just ship that out in the mailer. Alrighty, box AV. These are just some kids, Volcom shorts. These are my sons. I don't remember where we got them, but I sold them for $8.05 plus shipping on eBay. I'm making back probably $6 or so, which hey, then I can buy them a new pair of shorts. Yeah. All right, All right Box BQ, this is a viewer sale. Going out to Cassandra. Um, she bought from us several times. So thank you so much, Cassandra. This was my personal sweater. Um, the brand was London K, I think it was. I just bought this at TJ Maxx because I thought it was cute. I've worn it a fair amount of times. Yeah. And I'm just trying to get a few <laughs> new things. So selling some older things to pay for some new things. So that's what we like to do. I think everyone can relate, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, every reseller, at least. Well, it's nice because, like, yeah, before when I wanted new things, I just had to buy new things. And yeah. then I just don't. And then I would donate the old things. Mm -hmm. But now I sell them. And I try to keep them in good shape, like the sweater, so that I can sell them. But, you know, everyone has this <laughs> stuff that you wear, like, all the time. Yep. You can't resell when you're done with it. But for the most part, I try to keep things in good shape. And I, like, hang dry most stuff, so... All right, Cassandra bought this for $25 plus shipping. Again, I bought it at TJ Maxx. I don't remember what I originally bought it for. Cassandra, thank you so much for that yeah. support. We do appreciate it. Um, that was a little too puffy to go on a padded flat rate, but it's over a pound. So I'm just gonna put that, what would be a good box? I could just do a large mailer. Not actually. A large poly. Yeah. Could do a box too. It's just, just over a pound, so. Um, but I feel like none of the USPS boxes are a good size for that. All right, a hanging item. This guy. The brand is Marsh Landing. Never heard of it. Just bought it because I like the look of it. Just this type of print right now. 
yeah. seems to do well. So uh, I did pay $7.99 for this at a Goodwill. It sold for $25.16 plus shipping. Again, this is too puffy to go in a pot of flat rate, so it's just going to go... That one, I think, a 13 by 13 by 9. It's really puffy. And usually when they're too big for us to put in our cellophane bags and boxes, we just hang them. Yeah. And then we'll <laughs> probably end up using one of these larger poly mailer bags inside the box. Yeah, that would have took up like half of a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a banker box right. for that one item. So luckily we go through, I mean, we don't sell. You can see how many yeah. jackets we have. So it's not a ton and they sell through fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. All right, box D. Let me see. Got yeah, Reesey guy here. He was out playing in the snow earlier. <laughs> oh. It's here somewhere. I feel like this box is a little tightly packed. There we go. <laughs> All right, this is the brand John Barbados. It's very expensive new. I usually pick it up when I find it. This is just a basic t-shirt. I did pay $8 for this at Plato's Closet, but I sold it for a 23 plus ship. So it's about an 11 or $12 profit, which to me is fine. It sold quickly, which is why I bought it. So yeah, would definitely pick up again. All right, box X. This item I thought would sell much faster and for much more, but not everything is a home run. <laughs> uh, I won't even pretend to know how to say the brand, but you'll see it on the screen. It's very expensive new. I think these are like $200 pants new, and they're in really good shape. Um, I got these at the bins for $1.31, and I sold them for $30 plus shipping on eBay. I thought I would get around $50 to $60, but yeah. they've been sitting probably over six months, so I'm happy to... I had turned off on best offer on those. Okay. So someone made a best offer of 30, which I it auto accepted and glad to move them at this point. Yeah, because you've been putting best offer on things Just, with you, yeah. like a lower limit, right? I kind of stopped in January, but in December yeah. I was, yeah, pretty much on anything that was over at least 90 days. I kind of added best offer. Mm -hmm. I usually put it to a minimum where I'd make about a $10 profit at least. Or if it's, I mean, this was a good item, so I probably did 30 as my minimum, even though that's more than a $10 profit, probably yeah. like a $25 profit, but just because that was a good item, so. Right. All right. What is this? This is a viewer sale, but I did not write the box. Uh, and I'm trying to remember what it even is. <laughs> So that's a posh <laughs> sale. I'll figure that out in Want a to second. come back to that one? <laughs> CE. a brand I've never heard of. I think it might be sold at Kohl's. I could be wrong. It's Every, E-V-R-I. Hmm. I just bought this because I thought it was nice. Um, it's just like a kimono animal print. Uh, I did pay $5.65 for it because I averaged my cost of goods the day I bought it. Um, but it sold for $19 on Posh. That was an offer I accepted. So right about, about a $10 profit, just under. All right. Yeah, that was, I said posh, posh. so that will go, uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's posh mark, so we could use any, we like, we don't have any Tyvex. Yeah, those, those, we probably uh, should just get some more. Yeah, we probably should. selling a lot more clothes lately. Those Tyvek mailers that USPS gives for free, but. J and AK. These are going out to our viewer Viviana. She bought some stuff from us the other day and made another bundle and made me an offer. So um, the road trip tee that I really, really wanted for myself, but just didn't work out for me. And then these LuLaRoe spider leggings. Awesome. I have 450 into both total and Viviana offered 28. So thank you so much. <laughs> Viviana, thank you so much for the continued support. Yes. We do appreciate it. She's often like the, the first commenter yes. on all of our videos. <laughs> thank you so much for all the amazing support. Oh, that one's a little too big. I'm looking for the regional A. I thought they were right here. Let's see how much different they are. Barely. Barely. 
but the A is a little smaller. Okay. Uh, AI just listed this today. Well, this cost listed it today to the place that it sold, which was Facebook Marketplace. Uh, the brand is Under Armour Golf. And yeah, well, it's Under Armour, but it it's a golf piece. Gotcha. Um, it says golf in it. <laughs> I bought this just a couple days ago for $7.99, sold it for $29 plus ship. It pretty much sold within minutes of me posting it over to Facebook. I have, I wouldn't say be behind on cross posting because I've been, so I list the eBay first, usually a day later I cross post, mm -hmm. but Facebook's been acting funky for pretty much this yeah, whole month. Yeah, hasn't been letting all, us cross list. January, like every time I'd open anything at all, it would just say error. But yeah finally started working so I was about 80 listings behind just the Facebook mm -hmm. so I got caught up on that today and that was one of them yeah and we do use list perfectly to cross list and we don't really think it was list perfectly cause no because I've seen people on Instagram posting the same issue and I don't think yeah it's list perfectly yeah. so so something wonky was happening <laughs> with Facebook and Which as often normal. as it is with Facebook it, it, not everybody experiences yeah. the same problem at the same time so yeah <laughs> But so, glad it's over for now. For it's now. Probably, <laughs> yeah. I guess and don't really hold our breath. Stuff sold in the meantime, which saved me from crossbows. Yeah. It, so, all right, let's figure out what this last sale was that I did not write down. So luckily, Poshmark writes the buyer's like handle on oh, the yeah. label. So, those shoes. Oh yes, it was the little shoes. The vans. I so. remember now. So if you're trying to search up, if you do use our spreadsheet, you're trying to search up an item, push control F and that will bring up a little search box. I'll show you right here. So it'll bring up that little search box and then it'll highlight anything green with that, whatever you searched, so. So these sold to Amanda. Um, just cute little baby girl van. Picked these up recently for $4.99. Amanda accepted the Posture VA offer of $23 with discount shipping. So thank you so much. Yeah, Amanda, thank you so much for that support. <laughs> she said she bought them for her 10 month old who loves to watch us. Not so much Coco Melon and all the <laughs> normal oh, baby stuff. Getting so. them started young, <laughs> doing some so entrepreneurial <laughs> stuff. Awesome. Right. Sweet. So I think we're going to go ahead and get this stuff all packed up and then we'll check back in with you guys. All right, guys, got that stuff all packed up, ready to go. And I'm gonna take it out on <laughs> the roads. We had a neighbor kid shovel our driveway together, yeah, and it snowed some more, so I that know, was I think he hustled me. <laughs> basically pointless. <laughs> I thought he was gonna do the sidewalks too. <laughs> so yeah, as I take that off, uh, it's about 3.50, which is a little bit later than usual because we don't have to go get the boys from school. Yeah. Um, but our, I think our post office closes at 4.30, so it gives me a little bit of time to get there, but yeah, Kathy has got over here. Yeah, her listings <laughs> this, Half of this going. was the ones I did yesterday, and then I've done the stuffed animals today so far. I think I still need to do like 21 or so more photographs today, which is basically this bin of stuff. Yeah. And if I have time, which I might not, because I don't like photographing when it gets dark, which is probably in the next hour. I want to get some personal items photographed too, whether mm. I list them today or whenever, just to right. have them. So mostly because they're taking up space. I don't want to hang them in there because then they'll never down under there. Yeah. Come back out for a while. <laughs> so I want to just get them done. Yeah. So, yeah. That's what I'm working on. That's today. what we got going on. So yeah, guys, we're going to get that stuff off to the post office and get working on all that stuff. And that's going to be it for today's video, guys. So a little bit of a shorter and we just got a sale. Mm, yeah. I was about to say a little bit of a shorter video, but why don't we just go ahead and pack up the sale? What do you think? Well, they didn't pay it, but we can grab it. Okay. Uh, All right. So, box CS. All right, these are some Show Me Your Moo Moo shorts. Um, they sold on eBay for $28 plus shipping. So I did buy these retail arbitrage. I have about $12 into them, so about doubling my money after fees and I think I've had these for over a year so yeah. very happy to see them go they are really nice though I really thought those would sell fast <laughs> I wish they were my size I would have kept them but yeah yeah so yeah we'll uh, we'll hold off on packing that up just because the payment hasn't come through yet yeah. and we don't want to mail it off couldn't if I wanted to yeah until they can't even get a label through eBay so yeah that's just gonna go out in a poly mailer and 
that's going to do it for today, guys. If that does happen to pay in the next couple minutes, I'll go ahead and take it off to the post office. If the payment doesn't come through, we'll just take care of that with tomorrow's sales. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the viewer support today. We do really appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.